So I'm so excited about this because you know, one of my all time favorite foods is soup. Not just soup, but tomato soup. Specifically tomato soup. I love me a tomato soup. It just feels like childhood and Christmas and wholesomeness and goodness. It's just the best. Uh, But the funny thing is, I actually heard about this way, 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 way back before it opened from Jolyn Thomas's, my, you know, friend over at KID, her husband. I don't think he knew who I was. John. Yes, John Thomas. So John's a pretty famous attorney at this point. He is. Not only did he represent Christopher Tapp. Mm Mm-hmm. And that was successful. Right. He represented Lori Daybell Vallow. Mm-hmm. And we all know how that turned out. Right. And I want to point out that that's so important. At the end of the day, the fact that he represented her and was able to provide her sufficient counsel meant that she couldn't file for a mistrial. Right. And that, that means that she's going to stay in jail. Well, and also someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. And she's in jail. Mm-hmm. So you're welcome. So justice was served. <laughs> yeah. So... I happened to be in a conversation with him a while ago, back before we knew who each other was. We just sort of like ran into each other on the street. And he mentioned that he was going to open something called the Give Back Soup Shack. And I was like, oh, man, I'm so excited because I love soup. And also, can you like send me a link or something when you do? Because I've got this podcast and like if it's good, I'll say something. Anyway, we finally had a chance to go. And it was pretty freaking good, dude. It was delicious. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm sort of a hungry man. Yes. And I don't think soup is a meal. But for me, it was a nice snack. <laughs> Let's <laughs> it see. Was, it was really good. You got the tomato basil bisque. Of course I did, because tomato soup is my favorite. I got the velvety sweet pea with Cora Buddha ham. Oh, which was so good, too. So John and Jolyn own it. Jacqueline and Mac run it. Mm -hmm. And Mac, the chef, takes this really seriously. He explained to me about how some king of England gave some black pigs to a Japanese emperor, and that's the Cora Buddha ham. And And also, Jolyn mentioned when I went in to do an interview for KID about Christmas uh, that her um, daughter and him brought those prosciutto sandwiches over to dinner one day. Yes, the French Americana melt. We also got one of those to dip right. in the soup. It was the perfect crunchiness. So good. And the fact that they use sourdough. Every good chef uses sourdough. Agreed. It's just, it's got so much flavor. And that prosciutto, and I believe oh. it's, uh, you You like the Beaker, Beecher cheese? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. It was It was that. Yeah, the flagship. So it was, a, it was just a hot take on a mm-hmm. ham and cheese. Oh, it was so Back good. Back to the croque mazure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the crunchy French mister. Call, the crunchy gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, she basically said that they brought that to dinner one day and she was like, this is amazing. You should add this to the menu. And she was so right, by the way. Yes. Because it was perfect. It was the fanciest grilled cheese and tomato soup I've had in ever, as a matter of fact. And do you see how they put the cheese on the top of the cup and then you take it off right. and you take the lid off and then you put the cheese on the top of the soup and it's the amazing? The presentation was incredible. Yes. That's, yeah. That's, uh-huh. I mean, I was blown away by it. I was right. not thinking, I was thinking, hand me a bag and yeah, even the spoons were great. They're great soup spoons. Oh, they're beautiful too. They're these big, long, and they look like real metal. I thought for sure that we were driving away with their spoons that we should not have been driving away with. And then I picked them up and I was like, oh good, they're plastic, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, but the soup was amazing. I have one note. Oh, you do? Now, here's the thing. This is a very personal note. I don't know that everyone will agree with me. Okay. Now, tomato soup is a really fine line because it's right between tomato soup and marinara sauce. You know, it's really yes. easy to you tip have to over. Be, mm-hmm. Um. They did not get into the marinara sauce category, thankfully. They tasted fully like tomato soup. It was great. Now, the one thing is, I love my tomato soup to be just a a hint cream here. And I did throw like a tiny, tiny little dollop of uh, sour cream in mine. And that did the trick. And I do think it kind of did the trick. So your one note for the Give Back Soup Shack is maybe make it a little creamier. Maybe throw just a little bit of sour cream in it or something. And if they're smart, they won't do any of this. Never yeah. pander to the gallery, people. You know what? Instead, how about this? You do you. Offer sour cream. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you want to thicken it up? Yeah. Yeah, you want to cream it up, baby? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like those little uh, packets that you can get from Wendy's that are like weirdly shaped? Yeah. Yeah. 
Offer me one of those. I will be a happy camper. Okay. Because really, the soup itself was amazing. The flavor was there. Yeah. You know? It was a great experience. So glad we tried it. And you know what's super cool mm-hmm. is, do they have a they have a different charity every month? Yeah. That's the give back part of right. the give back soup shack. Yeah. And this month, it I think the month of December, it's the Bonneville County Jails Ignite mm-hmm. program that helps inmates. Right. Super cool. Here's the menu. So give back soup shack. You are IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5. 20 on finger gun salute. Pew, pew. And chef's kiss. Literally. Emphasis on the chef. Yeah. Yeah. To you. Fantastic. So good. Give them a try. Honestly, that's split pea soup. Mm. Delish. I think I like that even better than my tomato soup, which is shocking for me. So good. Yeah. I want a 50 gallon drum of that. Yeah. It was so good. I just want to like dispense it in my coffee cup in the morning, take it to work and just sip it like it's, you know, caffeine, but it's just soup. How's that coffee? Nope. (laughs) 